Yo guys, today I'm going to be awakening light fruit in blocks fruits. If you don't already know Kizaru who is an admiral uses it, so it must be really good, I will be showing you guys if it's worth getting it or not, so make sure to stick until the end. Before we get started I am doing a Kitsune giveaway, to enter you have to like, subscribe with notifications, and follow me on Roblox, join my discord and Roblox group, ok so we are going to be getting started with light fruit, so first of all we need fragments so we can actually awaken the moves, cake prince just spawned so let's go kill him, there is actually no one else here, and he does do a lot of damage when you're in by yourself, we're doing decent damage but he still has a ton of health, and bruh he despawned, they teleported me in the sky, ok let's go back to the raids now, we are doing flame raids right now for fragments if you were wondering, I am using buddha because I have permanent light so it doesn't matter if I change, this raid in specific was very interesting, the thing is a hacker got in the raid with me and he was killing everything, and there was no way I was reporting someone who was helping me bro even as he was a hacker, anyways I found that when I tried helping him it was much slower, so I just stayed in the water for the boss island, and he was just teleporting all the NPCs under the map bro so they would just instantly die, he did the same thing to the boss, and this is my best record so far, we finished the raid in 9 minutes and 31 seconds, try beating that, now for the next raid I wanted the hacker to help again but he didn't come in, so I guess we're going to have to solo this raid, the raids are taking some time, these are one of the final raids we have to do before we have enough fragments to start awakening the light fruit, it's been some time and we have enough fragments, the annoying thing about doing these raids solo is I can only use sanguine art, and not curse dual katana, this is because all my stats are in fruit and not in sword, which makes it take much longer, we are doing pretty good, why does this island look like the island from buddha island so much, or am i just tripping, this is a light raid, we have already awakened two of the five moves, i was going to record it but the recording corrupted and i lost the footage for that, so i am sorry about that, i am doing this raid solo, there was no one to help, but i damaged the boss until he was one hit, then i quickly switched to light fruit and boom we is now dead, Yes I wish to awaken it for 3000 fragments, we got 3 out of the 5 moves awakened already so let's go, Gojo is here to help this time, another guy came in with us and he said he was a hacker, and he is doing damage but he is taking way too long, we were waiting in the water but we decided to just go and help him out, since he was taking so long lol, he is using phoenix for some reason, an interesting fruit, our friend Gojo is here to help us out by the way, we're on the last island now, you can just stand outside here and attack them from here so they can't damage you, even the boss can't attack you from here and it's just so much better, the raid is nearly over so it is time to equip our light fruit, and the raid is over at 6 minutes and 30 seconds, the other hacker was faster and better, yes I would like to awaken it for 4000 fragments, now we just need one more move to awaken after this, and now we are in the final raid of the video, no hackers in this one, we do have a doe user helping us out though, I actually rate him for staying though, he could have just stayed on the first island and let us finish the raid by ourself, but he legit helped with every part of the raid, and we are on the last island again, this time I decided to go in since you don't have to wait for everything to come to you like you do when you're outside, I am helping out with Buddha, and we're doing pretty good without the hacker lol, ok seems like it's about to finish so let's quickly activate light, and we got it, and we finished this 10 seconds faster than when we had help from the hacker lol, and now we have awakened it for 5000 fragments, now we are going to be testing out all the moves before and after awakening them, including the visuals, damage and finally the names of the moves, but before we do that I am going to be rolling a fruit, and we got a spring, can my luck get any worse, now the first ability is called light ray, now a bad name for it, and seems like we are going to be doing this in here since Gojo took us, now the first move does 1784 damage, for the second and third test it did the same amount of damage, the visuals are alright on that, they are good but not too good right now, the damage is actually pretty good too mainly because it's unawakened, ok moving on to the next move which is called barrage of light, I'm actually a big fan of that name, and seems like you just throw light on them I guess, for the first test it did 2300 damage which is pretty good, the damage can vary a lot though since it depends on aim and how many shots you actually hit on them, the second time it did 1600 damage which is alright, the visuals on this are pretty good, I wonder what the awakened one is going to look like, and finally it did 1800 damage, so the damage is pretty random, ok now we're going to be moving on to the next move, unawakened is called reflection kick, an alright name, reminds me of Kizaru lol, ok now for the damage, it did almost 2400 damage, the visuals are pretty good too, still a bit basic though, the second and third time it did the exact same damage though, I love the light rays though, ok now we're going to be moving on to the next move, and it is called sky beam barrage right now, and this is what the move looks like, the visuals on that are just straight up insane, I'm shocked it is unawakened right now to be honest, it has a large circle and light literally rains from the sky, it did 3300 damage which is a ton too, it did the same amount of damage the second and third time too, 
I don't know too much about this move, you might be confused but the thing is the player isn't going to just stand still so you can hit them with it, can't they just run away, you get me, ok now for the M1 of the fruit, it did the exact same damage on all 3 tests, the light staff is pretty cool though, I do have aura so it looks better, now this is what the light flight looks like, it actually looks really sick, I can't control where I'm going though, it was the fastest fruit in the game but Kitsune is faster now. Light Flight is still the second fastest in game which is pretty sick, the visuals are decent on that too. Ok now it's time to test all the awakened moves, the first one is now called Divine Arrow. That name actually goes crazy, the visuals are sick bro, it's like a bow made of light, and you're using a light arrow, the damage is almost 3500 damage which is insane, and the visuals on that are just straight up insane bro, it basically did the exact same damage for all 3 tests, I love this ability, the damage is pretty good, now for the next move, it is called the hand of the emperor, the name is really sick, now for the damage, it's basically a giant light beam, and the visuals go crazy, it did almost 3700 damage which is insane, I did not expect light to do this much damage, it's crazy, it did about similar damage on the second and third test, still pretty good though, now for the light speed destroyer, creative name, let's see what you got, bro what the heck was that, I didn't even get time to process it lol, it did 2600 damage, it's really similar to the portal move, I love the visuals on that, for the second test it did the same, still can't get over how similar it is to portal fruit, I think it's the same thing but they just changed the visuals in my opinion, ok now moving on to the next move, which is called, wrath of god, hmm interesting name, I wonder how good this move is, I was really interested what the awakened version of this move would look like, now it's time, and boom the visuals are just straight up insane, somehow better than before, the turning light things look so good bro, and the light falling from the sky looks insane too, it did 3800 damage which is crazy damage, mainly since it's a light fruit, you'd never expect this much damage bro, for the last 2 tests it basically did the same amount of damage too, now let's test out the M1, still the same, nothing changed even after we awakened, I don't know what I expected lol, now let's finally test out the flight, the visuals on the flight are better than before, but I honestly think a floating light looks better, just my opinion though, unlike the unawakened version you can, decide where you want to go, you can control all the directions which is pretty cool, now we're going to be 1v1 in Gojo using light fruit, he does have a much higher bounty than us, so if we lose you can't blame me, we did some decent damage but we started getting damaged, we got really low, but you guys don't need to see the rest of the fight, I totally won guys, now if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe, and you can watch more videos here.